My study of the origins of Proto-Sinaitic writing has seemingly brought to light some interesting debates uh, in terms of my, my views on the origins and development of the early alphabetic script. And I don't think it's as straightforward as it seems. I don't think you can just look down uh, that path of exploration and see a straight line and ignore all else that could be explored alongside it. This linear way of looking at the past, this very long corridor which we have to travel down in order to get there. It's multifaceted and it's problematic in the sense that there's so many people that have different perspectives, all depending which field or which, which interest groups they find themselves in. And in each one of these specialties, there's also schools of thought. Schools of thought basically view uh, basically view the world in the same light or with their blinders on they basically adhere to the same uh, shared conclusions or points of views and ways of looking at it. According to the internal dating of the Bible most scholars will agree that the Exodus story is placed sometime in around the middle of the second millennium BC. This is how the proto sinaitic scribal tradition interconnects with the whole Exodus uh, narrative. 
because the early inscriptions found at Wadi al Hol are generally dated to around 1800 BC. The later inscriptions discovered at Sirabit el Kadim in the middle of the Sinai Desert, these inscriptions are dated to a, a little bit later. So uh, scholars usually go with the 1700 to 1500 BC date range. That broad roadmap, which the origins and development of proto sinaitic writing provides us with, also helps us as a sort of a wedge to get into the biblical narrative to see if we can make sense of it. Three big cogs, if you want, in this sort of, you know, wheels of understanding and making making sense of our past. proto sinaitic writing is awkwardly intertwined with the biblical narrative, and this is why we can certainly look at the Bible to try to make sense of the fact that there are people uh, that can be identified as the inventors of the alphabet. Semitic cultured individuals, no less, that are living in Egypt during this time, and we do have uh, a record that we can see is somewhat uh, historically based, although uh, inscribed much later. If we look at the Hyksos as a likely candidate, as many scholars do, uh, in terms of identifying the Israelites in Egypt, then we have no less than 700 to 800 years that have passed since these people have left the land of Egypt, passed through the Sinai, made their way to Canaan. So, of course, this is the perspective I take, a somewhat anthropological, uh, cultural perspective in looking at the biblical text. Uh, I see it basically as a lingering folk memory that's been largely romanticized and mythologized as the scribes would have written those stories down no less than half a millennium later.